Welcome back to Waz a Day, where our Waz today is Cutthroats, a 1984 release running here on the Apple IIe and Virtual 2. I'm going to say that I do have 80 golems. And we'll get dumped right into Cutthroats here once it loads up. Uh, an Infocom uh, text adventure game. Where nights on Hardscrabble Island are lonely and cold when the light lighthouse barely pierces the gloom. You sit on your bed thinking of better times and far off places. A knock on your door stirs you and Hevlin, a shipmate you haven't seen for years, staggers in. I'm in trouble, he says. I had a few too many at the shanty. I was looking for Red, but he wasn't around. And I started talking about here, he says, handing you a slim volume that you recognize as a shipwreck book written years ago by the Historical Society. You smile. Every diver on the island has looked for these wrecks without even an old boot to show for it. You open the door, hoping the drunken fool will leave. I know what you're thinking, Hevelyn scowls, but look. He points to the familiar map, and you see new locations marked for two of the wrecks. Keep it for me, he says, just for tonight. It'll be safe here with you. Don't let... He stops and broods for a moment. I've got to go find Red. And with that, Hevelyn leaves. You put the book in your dresser and think about following Hevelyn. Then you hear... A scuffle outside. You look through your window and see two men struggling. One falls to the ground in a heap. The other man bends down beside him, then turns as if startled and runs away. Another man then approaches the wounded figure. He kneels beside him for a long moment, then takes off after the other man. It isn't long before the police arrive to tell you that Hevelyn's been murdered. You don't mention the book, and hours later, as you lie awake in your bed, you wonder if the book could really be what it seems. That's Cutthroats. 1984 by Infocom. This is release 23. Uh, we're in our room on the bed. Uh, yeah, I actually have played uh, the Macintosh port of this game before for Mufa Day, my series where we're looking at uh, original raw Macintosh disc images, but this is Waza Day where we're looking at original raw Apple II disc images. Uh, but I'm going to do what I usually do for these interactive fiction games, which is follow a walkthrough. I have a walkthrough up on the solutionarchive.com. I don't think this is the walkthrough I used before. It's much more uh, verbose. Uh, it doesn't have the typical just list of instructions for you to do. It's more of a prose walkthrough, so we'll see if that slows me down a little bit. But uh, yeah, the last time I played this, I think I wound up getting shanked by a character named Weasel. So we'll see if uh, I get any uh, further this time. Uh, the walkthrough does note that there are only two, uh, real shipwrecks, the rest are red herrings, and it depends on which, uh, item you're shown by another character in the game. So we'll see if that trips us up. Um, yeah, there's also opportunities to just completely mess things up early on, die randomly, I think. Uh, we'll see, uh, how far we get here. Uh, okay. Let's, let's get off to a good start here. We're lying in bed in our scruffy room at the Red Boar Inn. Okay. We gotta stand up. That's always what you gotta do first. Always, always a good first move. Get out of bed. I don't know if we got any points for that. Um, I don't, I don't see a points counter up at the top, so I don't know if, we, if we're gonna get points at the end here. Um, I'm gonna stand up. We're gonna wind our watch. It says time is important in the game, and if your watch runs down, you can't keep track of the time. Oh, great. <laughs> so I guess it's the time up in the top right. There's a note on the floor. Uh, read note. If you're interested in a big deal, be at the shanty at 8.30 this morning. Okay, we got 27 minutes to get to the shanty. Um, open dresser. We're going to get key. I think we can leave the books for now. But we do need to lock the door. Otherwise, uh, I think Weasel will come by and steal our shipwreck book. And we'll be out of luck. We won't be able to finish the game. Uh, so we're going to take that key. We're going to open the door. Uh, can we do, go out? Let's see. Or the upstairs hallway. Okay, good. Uh, lock. Let's lock our door. So that, that will prevent Weasel, uh, from, from stealing our, our books. Close door. We gotta close the door before we lock it. Not closed. Uh, now we can lock the door. Okay. Running, running late on time right now. Um, okay. Go downstairs. And we're going to go out to the wharf road. Okay. Follow the road east until you get to the shanty. East. 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 We're beginning to feel hungry and we've got Weasel coming into view. Um, hopefully they don't shake me. 
The shanty is to the south. Okay, so we go... I'm gonna guess go, go south. To the shanty. This is the shanty, a tavern which serves the locals. A wooden bar travels the length of the place, and behind is a mirror so dirty it offers no reflection. Round tables like the the floor. The smell of cooking food permeates the place. Okay. Got a bartender. A parrot with an eye patch. Okay. Uh man wearing eye patch. Okay. Pete the rat. Johnny Red is here. Uh with red hair. And uh he says, sit down and we'll talk. Okay. It says sit down. This is order breakfast and wait for Weasel to arrive. I think this is where I got stabbed last time, so I don't know uh, what I did wrong uh, that time, but let's order breakfast. We have bought a meal for five dollars. Uh, wait, wait for Weasel to show. Time passes. Maybe 8.30. Uh, we'll get Weasel. It says drink some water. Order water. Okay, uh, Weasel joins you, and then Johnny whispers that he's come across some sunken treasure. Let's, do we also need to drink water? Just keeping your character alive sometimes is, uh, it's a challenge. Um, okay. Uh, he's asking if we're interested in treasure hunting. We say yes. Sorry, but you can't use the word yes in that sense. Um, tell Johnny yes. Yes. Okay. This is no place to continue. If McGinty finds out about this, we're sunk. We better meet at the lighthouse at 9.30. Glad you're aboard. Okay. Um, so now I think our business here is done. I think we can go out. No, oh, we gotta stand. We gotta eat. We, we ordered the food, but we didn't eat it. Okay, not bad. Alright, uh, let's stand up. What if somebody made, like, an interactive fiction game that's, like, co-op, where you have to, like, individually control every limb? That'd be, that'd be fantastic. Um, probably somebody's done that. Go out. Wharf Road. Our old friend, Wharf Road. Uh, we're gonna leave the shanty, we're gonna go back west to the end of the wharf road, and from there, southwest twice, and northwest once, to get to the lighthouse. Let's see if that works out for us. Middle wharf road. You can't go that way, so we're gonna go... ...southwest. Southwest. Then northwest. All right, so we should be on Winding Road. You can see, okay. Ends at the lighthouse to the north. Okay, so north. Okay. Now we gotta wait for Pete. We'll be the last person to arrive. Lighthouse door is locked. Let's wait. A lot of waiting in these games. More than you might uh, expect or remember. Hope I don't need to be uh, winding my watch over and over again. Uh, Johnny Red's coming in to view. So we gotta wait for Pete, who's the last to arrive. Gotta wait for the whole crew. Don't don't shake me this time, Weasel. Alright, there's Pete the Rat. Our good friend Pete the Rat. Quickly taking in any situation. Okay. Um, once Pete's he, once Pete gets there, Johnny will show you an object, either the coin or the plate. Okay. I guess we still wait. Johnny nods and pulls out a dinner plate. He says he came across while on a shark hunt. Um. Okay. So remember dinner plate. I don't know if we. Uh, so the dinner plate corresponds to the Leviathan. Okay, that's easy enough to remember. Hopefully. All right, so we should uh, go back to our room at the Red Boar after we read his uh, instructions. Uh, let's see, okay, okay. Uh, so I guess we just wait again. 
We're not sure which wreck to salvage, Johnny says. Since you're joining up, we're hoping you'll identify where the template came from. And then do the dive for us. I'll captain, Pete will cook, and Weasel will crew. Johnny winks at you. We'll need you to supply the minutes of longitude and latitude of the wreck. Get $500 and meet me at Point Lookout at 1045. Man, we're on a tight timeline here. This is just relentless. Uh, then we'll provision the boat. We'll meet in the shanty at 1145 to discuss final arrangements. Okay. We're all in this now. I'm not going to chance this operation if one of you doesn't show. We need everyone to pull this off. If anyone tries anything stupid, you won't live to regret it. Okay. Maybe that's why I got shanked. Maybe I messed up the time or something. Um, anyway. We got to get back to our room at the Red Boar. Um, so I think we got to go, what, south? To get back out away from the lighthouse? Let's look. I thought we went north to get to the White House, to the lighthouse. Uh, okay. So I, I guess we just leave. Southeast. Okay. So I'm gonna guess we're gonna go northeast. I think I think we'll go northeast again. Is that right? Get back to that wharf road. South. Okay, good thing I looked there, otherwise I would have gone down this uh, wharf road. Okay, uh, let's get back to our room. Let's go upstairs, I think. I'm trying to re retrace our steps. Uh, go upstairs. Open door. Hopefully it'll unlock, us for unlock it for us. I just don't want to do... You gotta do everything yourself here. Unlock door. With the room key. Open door. Enter room. Your room, okay. Uh, now we're gonna uh, get past book. It says if you're diving for the Leviathan, also get your scuba gear from the closet. Okay, and if you're getting the Salvera, you don't need your scuba gear. Okay, so uh, open closet. Okay, uh, can we just do get scuba, scuba gear? Let's see. Got to mind her time, too. I don't know. Uh, don't know. <laughs> okay. Look closet. Is that, gonna, is that the magic phrase? Okay. Look. Inside the closet. What suit? Uh, diving mask. Oh, so uh, we have to get all those individual things? Okay. Great. Get air tank. Get mask. How how terse can we be? Get flippers. Okay, I think that's all we need. Uh, and then we're gonna go out. We still got a closed door, locked door. Prevent weasel from grabbing our stuff with the room key. Okay. Uh, go downstairs. What are we doing on time? I think we're meeting up at 10.30, is that right? Go out. Gonna go east this time along Wharf Road to the end, and then we're gonna go southeast the Ocean Road. Mixing it up with the Ocean Road. Okay, we're gonna go what, southeast the Ocean Road. It says, if you're going to use your scuba gear for the dive, go southwest into the alley and drop your scuba gear there. Okay, so let's go southwest. I wish I could group this as scuba gear, but no. We gotta drop our scuba gear in the alley. Okay, so we gotta drop flippers and mask and tank. Let's try that. Okay, nice. Uh, drop suit. Well, let me do that. We got $15 in our pocket, too. That's nice. Uh, so. We want to go back, uh, probably northeast, the ocean road, and then we're going to go uh, south, the end, okay. South to the end of the ocean road. Apparently, if McGinty sees us lugging around the uh, scuba gear, it's not good for us. Um, go southwest. And we're going to go north. Into the bank. 
We gotta withdraw some money. Do we need to withdraw five hundred dollars? Um, because the the walkthrough just says withdraw your money, make your withdrawal, then leave and return to Ocean Road. I'm just gonna try withdrawing five hundred dollars because uh, that will leave us with some walking around cash after we. All right, it's easy, easy as that apparently to get money. Uh, <laughs> check balance. All right, well, I'm not gonna do all that. Let's see. Uh, okay, our, our time's a waste, and if we get late, we'll probably get killed. Uh, go out on the shore road, and then we're gonna go southeast to look to point lookout. Oh no, that's not it. Oh, we gotta return to Ocean Road. Uh, south. Look. East end of the shore road. Okay. Ocean road is northeast. Okay. I feel like this is another game where, like, going one direction and then so sometimes going the opposite direction does not get you back in the same place. Is that right? Uh, okay, we're gonna go southeast to Point Lookout. Is that right? Let's look first. Tight on time here. Yeah. Point lookout. It doesn't say point lookout there, but you just gotta know, I guess. Point lookout. A small high cliff that affords a spectacular view of the sea. The cliff bottom is dangerous, so the only safe path is the northwest footpath back to the ocean road. Okay, uh, I think we're gonna wait here. Uh, we gotta drop our passbook, it says. And then wait for Johnny. Should happen soon enough here, I think. McGinty's coming into view. I don't know why McGinty would see our past book on us, but not laying on the ground. Uh, anyway. Now oh, we gotta wait for Johnny. Hopefully I'm waiting in the right place here. Johnny Red comes into view, okay. Well, did you bring the money? Show Johnny $500. Okay. Uh, glad you're with us. Since you're okay, I'll level with you. Before Hevelin died, he told me he gave you the book. He also said you could handle this job. He's the one who gave me the dinner plate. I didn't want to say anything in front of Pete and the weasel, just in case. We're gonna need a boat, but I don't know which one. If you need deep-sea diving gear, it'll have to be the Mary Margaret. Is the treasure more than 200 feet deep? I'm gonna say yes. We'll rent the Mary Margaret. Let's go get what we need. Johnny Red heads off to the north northwest. Okay. So if it's the Salvera, then you, you don't need uh, the deep-sea diving, but uh, for the Leviathan, we do. Okay, so we gotta go back to International Outfitters. Man. We got so we gotta navigate. I don't like these walkthroughs that don't have just step by step instructions because I gotta think. This is not This is not what I normally do. Uh okay. Ocean Road heads north. I think we so I think we're gonna follow the ocean road. Uh maybe we just follow him northwest. Do I need to get this stuff? It's not the uh the walkthrough doesn't say anything. We've lost Johnny Red. Johnny Red went to the eye to this alley, so why isn't Johnny Red here anyway? Back door of the shanty. Maybe he's taking a shortcut through the shanty. Let's go northeast. I don't know how to get to the outfitters. Um, let's go northwest. Get on that wharf road. I think I think it's on the wharf road. Is that right? Okay, Outfitters International. Uh, this is to the south. Okay, that's where we want to go. Uh, it says McGinty uh, will be there. Outfitters International, a store that specializes in marine supplies. There's a long high counter. Okay. There's a salesman, Johnny Red McGinty. It says we can wait until uh, McGinty leaves.
Let's wait out McGinty. You should leave soon. Okay. McGinty heads off to the north. Okay, it says, uh, Johnny will make his purchases first, and you will have to chip in some of the cash you're carrying. Okay, so do we just wait here? Again? We're supposed to be renting our ship and purchasing supplies and equipment. I don't know what supplies and equipment we'll need, other than the stuff we dropped in the alley there. Uh, let's just wait. Wait for Johnny. Okay, time passes. Johnny hands him a list, and the salesman quotes a price. Johnny gives him the money he has, and then says to you, you'll need to chip in... 435 plus the money for your stuff. We leave on the Mary Margaret at high tide. Okay. So Johnny bounced and we gotta uh, pay. Let's, let's see if that. To the salesman. I mean, I would hope so. Okay. Uh, is there anything else we need to get? It says buy the flashlight and shark repellent. Okay. Buy flashlight. You purchased a flashlight for $24 by Shark Repellent. Always buy the Shark Repellent. Never know when you're going to need it. It's only 20 bucks. Um, if you're di diving for the Leviathan, you also need a C battery. I wonder if they have multiple sizes and you got to get the right size. It's true gaming there. Uh, let's buy Putty. Of course, we got the more complicated one. By Electromagnet. I hope I have enough cash for all this. It says, rent the small air compressor. Rent. Oh, no. Oh, no. See, this is why I need the hand-holding of a walkthrough that tells me to buy uh, specific amounts of things or withdraw specific amounts of money from the bank. Uh, it didn't say anything about that. Let's try to get back to the bank, I guess. I mean, our two options are to try to get back to the bank, buy this stuff, and then... Uh, make our appointment, or just, you know, try to barrel forward without that stuff. Uh, so we need the electromagnet and the air compressor. Can we rent? Let's see how much we need. Um, can't afford it. Let's look at the price list. That would probably be good. See how much we need? We got 20 bucks. We need an electromagnet and a air compressor rental. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. It's it's in the it's in the it's in the actual documentation, in the actual uh physical manual, which I don't have up right now. Um let's go back to the bank and just try to try to wing it. How much do you think an, ele an electromagnet and an air compressor rental should cost? I'm just gonna take out as much money as I can, I guess. Uh let's go out. Figure out how to get back to the bank here. Uh, where was the bank? Okay, so we gotta go back to the ocean road. Oh no, we're getting thirsty too. This is not good. McGinty's here. Uh, let's go east, I guess. We gotta get to the ocean road to get to the bank. So do we go east? Is that right? Okay, we go southeast. Ocean Road. Okay. McGinty is walking along with us. That's probably fine. Okay, so let's go south. So I think we go southwest, then north. I believe. Yep. Mariner's Trust. Let's try 500. <laughs> of, course, of course we don't. Oh, man.
Uh, okay. Uh, let's go southeast. Is that right? Uh, south. Look. Ocean Road. East. Okay. Go northeast and then... Southeast? Okay. Get past book. Just leave it lying on the ground for anybody to pick up and withdraw from our bank. Uh, let's go... Northwest. Southwest. North. Alright. Now, let's try again. Withdraw... How much money do we have? I have no idea. I don't know the word balance. Even though you just checked it. Um, hmm. Okay, we got a hundred bucks. Let's, let's just do it in a hundred dollar increments until we're broke. Okay. Uh, I, don't, I still don't know how much any of this stuff is going to cost, so... I'm just going to... Empty my bank account here. Maybe we just only had six hundred dollars. Oh, man. Let's, let's check out. We have a dollar. Nope. That's not that's not how you uh write a dollar. What? We just Am I missing something? Withdraw one dollar. I don't know the word withdraw. We just did that. I'm I'm just looking at it to see if I made a typo because how did Okay. <laughs> okay. I still don't know what I did wrong the one time that I didn't know the word withdraw. Getting a dollar at a time here. I, I mean, I assume we got to max out our bank account because... Okay, we got, we, we're, we're done. Let's go out. Hopefully we don't die of thirst. Oh uh, man, the ferry just pulled off. That doesn't seem good. There's another time that we have to hit and I forgot what it is. So it's like, is it 12.30? Been doing all this that uh, we haven't really had time to get back. Okay, let's go. Northeast. Take north. 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 Okay. McGinty is looking at our positions. That's probably not going to go well for us. I don't know. Uh... McGinty is smoking a cigar. Okay, let's go northwest. West? Look. Okay, and then we're gonna go south. And now, at long last, let's buy Electromagnet. <laughs> you can't afford it. Um... I guess we'll just barrel on. Uh, let's try renting. Uh, what was it? Rent. Um, rent compressor. Okay. Uh, so the electromagnet, more than one hundred twenty-three dollars. Uh, I don't know how I'm supposed to get that money if I if I need the electromagnet. The the guy didn't tell me anything else. Um, okay, I guess we're gonna go out. Let's get back on the guide. It says, now it's time to uncover a little double dealing. Leave Outfitters and go back east. And go southeast. Go south. We're going to go southwest. And go west. Until we reach the ferry dock. 
Free landing to the west, okay. Let's go west. Free landing, okay. The ferry to the mainland arrives here every two hours during the day. People are milling about. I feel like we're off on time because I did all that other extra stuff and still didn't get uh, the electromagnet. But it says... Uh, wait around. Soon McGinney will appear and a short la while later, Weasel. Okay, so we got... I think McGinney is here. Gotta wait for Weasel. Waiting for Weasel. As you do. Hopefully we didn't miss Weasel. I don't mean... Entirely possible that uh, whatever we're waiting for has already happened. You feel fairly, fairly thirsty. I don't know what I'm supposed to do about that. McGinty is leaving. Um, it says... Okay, it says uh, the two men will go off to a corner and talk, then Weasel will hand something to McGinty and board the ferry. Uh, you can't get on yourself. Uh, okay. I really don't know uh, what I missed or what I was supposed to do. I think when when I got the message that the ferry is leaving, that that's when all that happened. Uh, although now I can't I can't do any of that. So <laughs> gotta go back to Ocean Road. Uh, pick up our scuba gear. All right, let's 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 try it. All right, let's go east. East, east, north. No, that's not it. South, uh, northeast. Is that right? Okay, north. I'm getting my bearings slowly here. Look. Northwest. Let's go in the alley. Let's get our, get our stuff here. Uh, let's get suit and tank and mask and flippers. I don't know how many of these you can chain together. That worked. Okay. Um, it says we're going to go west along the alley until you're standing behind the vacant lot, which is next door to McGinty's. All right, so we're behind the vacant lot. We're supposed to wait here. And McGinty will come by. We're supposed to wait for McGinty to come by, heading east to west, and then west to east. Am I in the right place? <laughs> I don't know if I'm supposed to go north one. I'm behind... Okay. Okay. It doesn't tell me to go north to, to the vacant lot. I'm supposed to be waiting here, as far as I know. Pete the Rat, back in view. I don't know if we missed uh, whatever McGinty sequence we're supposed to be waiting for here either, you know? Johnny Red. Seeing the whole crew except McGinty. Maybe we should just try going to McGinty's shop uh, right now. Um, let's try it. Back door of McGinty Salvage, as well as a small window. So uh, we don't have a key. This place is locked. We're going to break in through the window. Uh, open window. What could possibly go wrong? Okay. Uh, climb. Through window. Here we are on McGinty Salvage Oak. A concern whose main business is salvaging wrecks. The place is a mess, and the floor is littered with chewed on cigar stubs. To the north lies the wharf road. You can't help feeling uncomfortable here. As McGinty sees someone climbing through the window, he pulls out a gun and fires. His aim is better than your luck. You have died. Too bad. Your score is 90 out of a possible 250. We're a so so sailor. Uh, yeah, I think that's gonna do it here for me with uh, cutthroats for Waza Day. 
Uh, didn't make it to the end once again, but uh, we got a little bit off from the guy there. I'm not, not still not sure how you're supposed to get that extra money, uh, but I think, that, yeah, I'm going to do quit here. And if you like uh, interactive fiction games, the Apple II like this, then go ahead and subscribe. And I'll see you tomorrow for our next Walls a Day.